the brain. A miraculous thing it is. But what happens when you add music to the mix? Let's take a look. Listening to music feels good, but can that translate into psychological benefit? Dr. Daniel Levitin and colleagues published a meta-analysis of 400 studies in the journal Trends in Cognitive Sciences, suggesting the answer is yes. Researchers studied patients undergoing surgery. Randomly, some were given anxiety drugs and others calming music. Surprisingly, the patients with the calming music had less anxiety than the ones with the drug. Levitin said, the promise here is that music is arguably less expensive than drugs and it's easier on the body and it doesn't have any side effects. The next frontier in the neuroscience of music is to look more carefully at which chemicals in the brain are involved when listening to music. So we've investigated about what happens when you listen, but what about playing? There's little doubt that learning to play a musical instrument is great for developing brains. Science has shown that when children learn to play music, their brains begin to hear and process sounds that they could not otherwise hear. This helps them develop neuropsychological distinction between certain sounds that can aid in literacy, which can translate into improved academic results for the kids. However, a new study from Northwestern University revealed that in order to fully reap the cognitive benefits of a music class, the student must be fully actively engaged in the music and participate in the class. When we involved all of our senses, so like touch, sight, sound, we are involving our, our brain. And when we can have the child do many things at the same time, the child is engaged. The child is now focused. What happens in the brain? There's part of the brain called the hippocampus. We have it on the left side and on the right side. Whenever we can have the arm or the leg cross the center point, the center balance of the body, we are developing that of the side of the brain. That is developing the hippocampus. What that does, that develops the memory. Well, styles of music kind of identify an attitude, meaning if you have uh, hip hop or rap, it has an attitude built into it. If you have classical music, it has an attitude of the 1600s or the 1700s. What you're exposed to and what you feel when the music is played uh, when you're young is kind of the first impression. together because they're both modes of storytelling, they're both means of expression. I think there's a lot of benefits of musical theater. Um, it teaches you interpersonal skills, teaches you empathy. Musical theater can help you be more disciplined, it can help you to be more confident, it can help you to be more articulate, um, and obviously it helps you to be a better storyteller, and I think that's an incredibly important skill to have. Music's your soul. I, it, it is. It's, it's the closest thing I think that we human beings have come up with to show the inner workings of the human soul. It's like uh, the essential backbone of uh, sounds that vary by the intensity. Music not only teaches us accountability, but it also teaches us who we are. Music has developmental, academic, and life skill benefits, but most importantly, psychological benefits that will affect a person for the rest of his or her life. Music to the brain is like a full body workout. It's all the pathways lit up and connected.